Right, so we're on to question number 15 from the National 5 2014 um, physics paper. And it starts by saying the following. Um, a vehicle follows a course from R to T as shown. It travels southward 2.4 kilometers and then west 1 kilometer. The journey takes 1 hour, which row in the table gives the average speed and the average velocity. So we're trying to find um, correct values for the average speed and average velocity for the journey. So let's have a look at the data we've got in the table. Um, the average speed is um, the total distance divided by the total time. And the total distance is 2.4 kilometers plus 1 kilometer is 3.4 kilometers. So that's our distance. Just write that in there. Um, distance is equal to 3.4 kilometers. And that takes 1 hour. So therefore, the average speed is 3.4 kilometers per hour. So it's not C because that's got a direction associated with it. It's either D or E are our options. So let's think about the average velocity. The average velocity is given by the displacement um, over the time. So we need to think about our displacement here in this vector. The displacement is um, this vector here which is the resultant of 2.4 and 1, and 1 kilometer um, and that will be our displacement vector. Now if we look at the table uh, we know it's got to be um, D or E so really we're not interested in calculating the value we know it's got to be 2.6 it can't be 3.4 because that's our speed so it has to be 2.6 anyway we could calculate it using Pythagoras but we don't need to here uh, so we really need to determine which of these directions looks plausible. Um, so the bearing is either 23 degrees or um, 203 degrees. So if we go up to our compass needle here, 23 degrees is um, somewhere up there. 203, if that's 180, 203 is somewhere down there in that direction. And um, definitely this vector is pointing in the same direction as this one here. So that would suggest that 203 is the correct value. And so our answer has to be E.